So, you know, I got freaking coffee cups. Coffee cup. What the freak? Picking up garbage and just throwing it. Oh, no. and look at all the, look at all this oil. There's butts. Anything good in here? I don't think so. Look at all this. Oh, this one has some oil left in. Yeah. All right, so guys, you know I used to use this Dewalt tea stack, and I still think it's a great system, guys. Um, a lot of oil, so I'm gonna have to hose this out. Is Wands, butts in here, and MRL, what's up, buddy? I appreciate that. So, guys, you know, I, thanks, MRL. I'm sorry, I'm a little bit tool guy. Ty, what's up, Q Vision? Josh, my man, Fat Boy, where you been, brother? It's been a while, brother. All right, so obviously you know about the. You know, this whole system that Milwaukee makes is really awesome. And, it, you know, I've been thinking about it. I really don't even need to build shelves anymore. And I'm telling you why. Because at some point, they're going to come out with a drawered box. All right? There's rumors of it. I hear people talking about it. I don't know 100% what's going on with that. Um, but once that happens, I'm sure, and I hope, that they make it mountable to their bracket here their pack out wall mount pack out bracket all right because what's great about it is all you got to do is spend 29 bucks or 25 bucks for one of these right and then hopefully it's bigger than this here uh, no hopefully it's just you know if it's the size of this you got some drawers boom boom right you're really set and I'm, I'm switching this box out. I just haven't gotten to it yet. Obviously, I don't need the insert. And this is where I'm going to put, you know, probably that Milwaukee stubby. I've been using the, the uh, DeWalt 12 volt. All right. Um, I don't know. I was really thinking about putting the heart stuff in here. I don't know. But anyway, this is just obviously some of the stuff. And these things are great. These milk crates. I was actually maybe thinking about getting another one. But I don't just don't think I have the room here. But as you can see, you know, I, I, there was a cup in there, so I put my little shovels in there. I got some more oil here, and like I, if you've ever seen, I don't know how it is here. And here is great. I got my little in there. We got like pliers and stuff, and. All different kinds of good little hand tools that takes up really no space. And I've had this for a while, but it's been in there locked up. But, um, I did this in hand here. I want you to. All right, so you got pliers. You got a couple wrenches in here. Got some cutting pliers. This thing fell out. I'll worry about that later. But that's cool in a nice, nice small, compact package. All right, so I'll have, I'll have that on the bottom here. Um, yeah, still a little bit in there. And what's also good, guys, if you remember from last year, I showed you that. I actually might put another one of these up so I can get all my oils kind of out of here. 
for space. This is just some um, herbicide, all right, RM43, very expensive. This is around like $80 just for this small, you know, what is this, a quart? Not a quart. 128 ounces. They do make smaller ones too, of course. But these are great. They come in the pack out boxes and it has two nails. Um, it has these two little notches in them. You guys know what I'm talking about. Right, it has a bunch of notches. Then I just got two little nails in there. And I've never had this fall down, ever. Ever. And I just put something on Instagram, because I'll tell you, this Makita mower, and you're gonna see, I just did another video yesterday on it. And you gotta see the, the lawn that I did. I gotta put this phone down. I'm caught. I'm caught, I'm caught in here. Oh, man. Oh. Uh, no. I don't think I'm going to be able to get out of this one. Uh, no way, we got it out. We got it out. All right. And I, I talked about this whole system. You'll probably see that in a video tonight. But, you know, I'm probably going to have to switch over to Makita here. All right. Now, I, I haven't used their trimmer yet. That's the big one. That's going to be really what makes me switch out of Milwaukee completely over to Makita because I just can't wait any longer for a lawnmower from these guys. Um, and I have a really sh weird, strange, hurtful piece in my heart. I don't, it's like, it, it's not big. It's a little piece at the bottom left corner of my heart that thinks it's going to be an MX lawnmower. All right, but I also think they are going to come out with an 18 volt as well. All right, I think they're going to come out with two. Now, I don't know what one's going to come out first, but, you know, listen, I thought last year. I predicted last year. I actually said uh, two years ago, you know, I, it's hopefully this year, and this, this is two years ago. Go back two, not one two but it didn't come out two years ago so i said next year definitely that was last year no doubt it's going to be next year then they came out with all these attachments with the power head and stuff i'm like oh boy oh boy and then i'm like you know what it's definitely this year it's 100 percent this year and i haven't heard a peep I haven't heard one freaking peep. So, I don't know if it's coming or not. I, I don't know. I don't really think so. But this thing is such a beast. Again, if it just had a folding handle, it would really be just... I mean, think about it, guys. All right, now I got all this space right here. All right? All this space. Boom. Boom throw it over here and then I can even see what I used to have when I use my DeWalt I fold it and it actually s stands up right here right and I, and I loved it and I was actually going to set up something with two bungee cords to kind of really hold it there in place usually I just put like a gas can on the bottom like a heavy back ga gas can and it would kind of keep it up but you know it takes up a lot of space here but I love their new 18 volt blower. All right. Now they got that backpack power source too. All right. So, I mean, if I can get eight batteries here, I got the power um, backpack. I mean, you can just run this Makita stuff forever. Um, so, and you guys know the hedge trimmer. I absolutely love the hedge trimmer. I talked about it in a video you'll see tonight probably with all the other stuff like because makita i believe does have a pole saw and a you know um oscillating hedge trimmer but i think that's in their 36 volt line i really don't want to use two batteries to power stuff um it's fine with a lawnmower here but you know with the blower and that, that's why i don't really i didn't really use makita's 36 volt blower too much and it's powerful and i like it right it's really good, but 
two batteries. It's just, you know, it's too much, too much stuff. Too many batteries to go kind of through, right? But now they got this 18 volt blower that I'm telling you, there's some advantages to it over the Milwaukee. Now, am I saying it's better than the Milwaukee? Gun to my head, I'd probably still take the Milwaukee. But it's quieter. It's lighter. It's more compact. Um, so there, there is some pros to it. But so that's kind of like the issue I'm kind of really thinking, even though I have this all set up already. And I got the pole saw, but I can always kind of keep the pole saw and one of these with the power head on but we'll have to see it's really just frustration it's frustration i mean like where is this milwaukee mower here man because i don't use push mowers that much guys so you know i still got my toro all-wheel drive it's still at my buddy's shop in new york i gotta go grab it but i use the toro time master a lot you know, when I'm really doing the uh, leaf cleanups. So you always got to have a gas pump because these you don't really want to be doing leaf cleanups with and going over leaves and mulch and stuff down. I mean, you, you can obviously, but, you know, you, you need a gas mower too. But this time of year, now that I'm kind of all done with a lot of the cleanup stuff, I, I use this, you know, four or five times a week at the most. Uh, you know, a, a push mower. So, yeah, it's it's awesome. And you'll see a great video on it uh, this week sometime. I got a lot of videos I got to put up. But, yeah, so if you have a trail, I mean, and I still got so much room. And I'll have more room. I got my sockets here. I got my little sockets. These are my Ingersoll Rand uh, 3 8 but once I kind of get some of these oils out of here, then I'll really have more organization here. Um, and of course, you got your buckets here. Um, you know, yeah, here's my other. I'll stick that sucker in there. But that's really it, guys. And I'm moving over to the best gas can on the market here that I love. Check this out. Fuel works, baby. Look how much room. I got two cans. This is how much room it only takes up. Bam. I still got gas in these. And that's kind of... I got to go fill this one up. That's almost done. Yeah, so just cleaning out stuff here. There. This is all empty oil. And there's butts in there. But now I can get this out of here. I got to put this back in there. But yeah, that's it. I just thought I'd do a little live video. I hope everybody's doing great, man. yeah yeah they're good to have absolutely they're good to have for for small areas i kind of have i've had these probably for like five years but i think we had me and juan i had juan using them one time in this little area where she wanted to set up um a little flower bed or something i like the ego yeah the ego stuff's great I just don't like the heaviness when you're using this stuff all day, having that big battery. And then, you know, then they're big batteries too. So they're going to, you know, this, look at this setup. This is amazing. You know, and I could obviously put another one down here. You know what I'm saying? But it's weird with Makita because you don't know what's going on with this 40 volt platform. You know, are they going to come out with some 40 volt OPE stuff eventually? And, who knows? But this is, the, you know, great. And and what I'm hoping is you won't even have to. See, my my goal is if they do come out with a drawered pack out box, that's what's going to be here. All right. So I got my my tote stuff on top, and then I got a drawered. Because remember, this is attached to this. All right. This this is not. This whole bottom pack out box here, this um, foam box, you know, with the foam insert, this is not attached to the mounting bracket at all. This is attached to the crate. So if they do come out with a, you know, maybe like a two drawer, right? I could put the two drawer here 
then maybe get another one. And if they do come out with like a three drawer, the cat's meow. Oh, yeah. But I think, honestly, if they come out with a two, I'd be good to go. And a lot, a lot of people would be good to go. But yeah, and then there's, you guys know, that's a great little charger to have here. But, all right, I'm hungry. I'm going to go run in and eat some lunch real quick. And then I got to get back out there. But, guys, I hope everybody's doing good, man. Oh, hello from Argentina. I saw a pic of a pack-out drawer bar. Oh, you did? Uh, it's not been that great, William. I lost a lot of customers. Probably 25, 30%. Uh, um, now, I think half of them will end up coming back type of a deal. You know, people are home. Money's a little tight. So they're kind of mowing their own lawn type of a thing. Obviously, once they go back to the office and, and stuff like that. Koneman. So, I hope everybody's doing good. 94. 90. Man, it's early over there. MRL, thank you very much, brother. Yeah, money's tight everywhere, guys. You know, it's getting to be really, really tough here. Carl, my income. Yeah, 15%. I, I think we'll, you know, I, I, I don't know what industry you're in, Carl, but I think a lot of people will come back. I think a lot of people want to save money and, um, you know, they kind of want to get out too a little bit and do, you know, the, we're, especially here in Jersey, we're locked in like rats. So, you know, people want to do a little exercise, get out, get some fresh air, but that'll run out real quick. Once it's um, 90 degrees. Ah, you my foot, you son of a... All right, guys, I, I apologize. And I got to get this one out of here. We're all done with this. Still using this one a lot. Still doing a lot of uh, some, you know, leaves here. But and then I got that. I got a lot of. Um, and I'll have a couple videos. That's the uh, backpack sprayer. That's going to be going here. But um You'll see a lot of videos on that coming up, too. I, I did a little bit of one the other day with it. But that's really next week. I got Juan, hopefully Monday. But Monday Memorial Day. But Juan doesn't really celebrate Memorial Day. So, yeah. All right, guys. Be good. God bless you all. Say your prayers. All right, good luck in the future. But string bean, yeah. Uh, the ego, yeah, I probably won't try it. Yeah, Bergen County, Eric is, um, I'm, I'm right around Bergen County, Eric. I'm in the next county over. But, all right, guys. John Rice, we'll catch you. Guys, thank you. Be safe. I, I love you all. Peace.